Hello everybody and welcome back to Popping the Popcorn YouTube channel. I'm your host Katie and today I will be reviewing the movie The Last Duel. My friend um, Michael from Michael's Adventures um, asked me to review this movie on uh, Facebook. Um, so I decided to watch this movie and review it. Um, I reviewed it on, I reviewed it, I watched it on um on you can watch it on you uh hulu premium or you can watch it on um if you have hbo max you can watch it as well so this movie is a ridley scott movie directed by ridley scott he also directed aliens the martian and a lot of different um movies i like a lot of his movies and some movies i do not like of him um this is one of the movies of his that was really good in a long time i love the cinematography in here i love the directing in here and um a fun fact is matt damon and ben affleck are both stars in this movie along with adam driver and um and julia comer the um jody comer the same um the same girl i watched in the last movie free guy um as well as adam driver who plays the one and only kylo ren from star wars so um so this movie um is a old time movie um and so here's um here's one fun fact about the movie the Last Duel is a true story of crime, scandal, trial by combat in the mid, the um, medieval times like France by Eric Jagger on December 29, 1386, a knight and a squire faced each other on a battlefield outside a Paris monastery. And so basically, that's what this movie is about, The Last Duel. And so, after serving in the, um, the call, um, Korean War, I guess that's how you say it, French squire John, I can't even pronounce his last name, and Jock swear to fidelity by the court peer, who've been named Jean's overlord by King Charles V. And Jock later tells Jean that Pierre tasked him with with collecting war levels and agreeing to different things and to restore um, their marriages with their with their um, people uh, with their wives and stuff like that. And so um, there's a lot that happens in this movie um there's a lot of battle battle stuff there's a um i really like these type of movies just because i like seeing medieval times and i like seeing what they dressed like and how they acted back then and stuff like that so a lot of these actors also had like accents like ben affleck had an accent um adam driver had an accent all of them pretty much had an accent but Jodie Comer's because she is actually from England, so she didn't really have to have an accent. But all the other ones, because they're American, they had to. Um, I really liked um, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, and Adam Driver's performance in this movie. They did a really good job. And um, the storytelling was very beautiful, the way that they did it. And I just enjoyed this movie. I give this movie a 9 out of 10 just because I really enjoyed it. And it's one of the better Ridley Scott movies I've seen in a while. And then here goes some fun facts that I found on The Last Duel. Um, so there was... Let's see. So there was a lot longer cut of The Last Duel. Clocking over 2.5 hours. The Last Duel was already very long because this movie is about two hours and 30 minutes, I think it was, as despite of some events from three 
different perspectives. However, the actor Coleridge could particularly have been even longer because they did do different um, different cuts of the movie from three different point of views, and that was really interesting. So I'm hoping with like the director's cut, if it goes on to DVD or Blu-ray, that you can actually watch the longer version of it. I would love to see the longer version of it. Ben Affleck was excited by Ridley Scott's distinctive um, shooting style. Um, Matt Damon and Ridley Scott worked in The Martian together. That's that movie where uh, Matt Damon gets lost, um, is the only person like on Mars and stuff like that. So that was his best sci-fi movie um, in the t- 2000s. And that was their first collaboration together. And in an interview, um, Affleck said at the link of about how great Ridley Scott was d- the director and stuff like that. And that's why he joined the project because um, Matt Damon is a method actor and stuff like that. Uh, ben Affleck and Matt Damon didn't write the ending. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck uh, um, are a great writing duo. They did Good Will Hunting. And but the historic, historic biography you can't talk is the first time they wrote a screenplay together since the 1997 film Goodwill Hunting, which is really interesting. Every every last duel. Um, so uh, Ben Affleck, Matt Damon almost shared a on screen kiss again. According to the writing duo, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon almost kissed each other on screen. They told E! Entertainment during the ceremony of the film, um, but it didn't take place, however. Um, Simply, the pair just write a sex scene between the two of them and screen the writing of Good Will Hunting, but it ended up not happening. Every studio wanted to make The Last Duel, according to Dateline, when Disney acquired Fox, it was up to it to whether Air Disney would keep the movie because of the subject matter of the movie, because there is a lot of subject matter into the movie. And it's hardly surprising that The Last Duel could have uh, been bidding war as Ridley Scott became the king of historic episodes like Gladiator. He did that one in Kingdom of Heaven. He did that one as well. So, so it's good that he made the movie because he made it the best. Judy Kohler couldn't stop laughing during the kissing scene. So she had to kiss Matt Damon. And um, she couldn't stop laughing when they were, like, kissing in between Googles and stuff like that. And that's kind of interesting. Um, Ridley Scott's mother was influenced by Jodie uh, Comer's character. That's really interesting. Even though the all the characters of Last Duel are based on real fr- frictional figures because it's a real story, uh, Ridley Scott took the inspiration from people outside of French Knights, he mentioned, and so that's where he got his inspiration from. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck uh, were more impressed with Jodie Comer. Um, in an interview, Matt Damon spoke at the links and great of <coughs> Jodie Comer, her impression, her impression, and they were um, by her talent because she's a really good actress, and I highly recommend um, movies. You check her movies out. Um, ben Affleck and Matt Damon waited to write together again for a reason. Although the last duel marks the first time in 24 years that the both of them worked together on screen. They haven't worked together in a long time because <coughs> because they had a um, domestic falling out because they were too busy to do stuff um, so together so they couldn't, their schedules didn't connect. There was good reason for the last duel to distinct the hairstyles. So basically Matt Taman had a mullet was really interesting that he had a mullet in this movie. It kind of made me laugh because it didn't really look like Matt Damon. And the um, one of the questionable choices in the last duel comes from 
the shortage of the hairdos Matt Damon's character has a mullet, and it's hard to believe that medieval knights in the 1300 were rocking mullets, the popular 1980s style. And I thought that was really interesting um, that Matt Damon um, did that. And um, I highly recommend this movie, and you guys check it out. Uh, let me know down in the comments section what you thought of The Last Duel. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Or what Ridley Scott movies you like? Or whatever movies you want me to review. And um, like, um, hit that thumbs up because um, that helps my channel a lot. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, everybody.